Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x square plus 3x over x minus 3 bracket square is equal to 16. To find the values of x from this equation, so it will be this, which is x square, then plus, from here we'll take this square in the numerator and in the denominator, so it will be this, which is 3x, then bracket square, over in the denominator we'll take this square so it will be x minus 3 bracket square is equal to 16 then in the next step this x is square same as x square over 1 so the lcm of 1 and this x minus 3 bracket square it is this so it will be over the denominator here it will be x minus 3 bracket square then x minus 3 bracket square divided by 1, it is this x minus 3 bracket square. Then times this x square, so it will be x square, then bracket x minus 3 bracket square. Then plus here, this x minus 3 bracket square divided by x minus 3 bracket square, it is 1. 1 times this 3x bracket square, it is this. So it will be plus 3x bracket square then is equal to this 16 then in the next step it will be x square then bracket will expand this x minus 3 bracket square so here it will be x times x is x square then minus 2 times x times 3 is 6x then plus 3 times 3 it is 9 bracket then plus here it will be will here we can write the same which is 3x bracket square then over this denominator x minus 3 bracket square is equal to this 16 then in the next step we'll open the bracket in here and in here now in here we'll open the bracket by this x square so it will be x square times x square is x power of 4 x square times negative 6x is negative 6x power of 3 then plus here x square times 9 is 9x square then plus into here we open the bracket by this square so it will be 3 square it is 9 x square 9x square then over this x minus 3 bracket square is equal to 16 then in the next step it will be x power of 4 then minus this 6 x power of 3 then plus 9 x square plus 9 x square it is 18 x square then over this denominator x minus 3 bracket square is equal to 16 then in the next step, we'll, di we'll divide this here. So first here, it is x power of 4. Now from this part and in this part, negative 6x square is common. So we'll take negative 6x square out of bracket. Then this negative 6x power of 3 divided by negative 6x square, it is x. Then positive 18x square divide by negative 6 x square here it will be negative 3 bracket then we'll divide by it will be divided by this x minus 3 bracket square in this part and in this part so here this denominator here it will be into here over x minus 3 bracket square and into here it will be over x minus 3 bracket square is equal to 16 then in the next step here we'll make x power 4 to have square like this so x power 4 is same as x square bracket square then over this x minus 3 bracket square then minus 6 x square because in here x minus 3 will cancel with this square so it will be minus 6 x square then over this x minus 3 then is equal to 16 
then in the next step into here this square is common so it will be this over this so here x square over x minus 3 then bracket this square then minus into here it will be 6 then times we'll take this x square over x minus 3 to be like this so it will be x square over x minus 3 so this will take inside the bracket then is equal to this 16 then in the next step we'll let let's say u is equal to this which is inside the bracket u is equal to x square over x minus 3 then our equation from here here this will be u square so our equation will be u square then minus 6 u so minus 6 u is equal to 16 then in the next step from here we'll take this 16 to this side so it will be u square minus 6 u 16 we'll take this side so it will be minus 16 is equal to 0 now from this quadratic equation it can be solved by grouping and factorization because from this constant which is negative 16 negative 16 is the product and this here coefficient of u which is negative 6 so negative 6 is the sum now negative 16 is the product of negative 8 times 2 is negative 16 and negative 6 is the sum of negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6 so we can see our factors are negative 8 and 2 so we'll split this negative 6 u by using these factors so it will be this which is u square then negative 6 u is same as negative 8 u then plus 2 u then this minus 16 is equal to 0 then in the next step from here u is common so we'll take u out of bracket u square divided by u it is u negative 8 u divided by u is negative 8 bracket then plus from here we we'll take 2 out of bracket 2u divided by 2 it is u negative 16 divided by 2 is negative 8 bracket is equal to 0 then in the next step from here u minus 8 is common so we'll take u minus 8 bracket out of bracket this u this here divided by u minus 8 it is u then plus this here divided by u minus 8 it is 2 so it will be plus 2 bracket is equal to 0 then in the next step from here we have two solutions whereas this first solution u minus 8 is equal to 0 and this second solution u plus 2 is equal to 0 then from this solution we we'll take negative 8 to this side so it will be u is equal to 8 and here we'll take 2 to this side so it will be u is equal to negative 2 then after we got the values of u we'll recall so we we'll recall before we let u is equal to into here u u it is x square of x minus 3 so from u which is x square over x minus 3 so we'll compare these two equations so it will be this is equal to 8 so x square over x minus 3 is equal to 8 and also in here u is equal to x square over x minus 3 then we'll compare these two equations so it will be this is equal to this so x square over x minus 3 is equal to negative 2 then in the next step from here 8 is same as 8 over 1 then from here we'll cross multiply so it will be x square times 1 it is x square is equal to 8 times this 8 times x is 8 x 8 times negative 3 is negative 24 then it will be x square 8x will take this side so it will be minus 8x 
minus 24 take to this side so it will be plus 24 is equal to 0 then in the next step from here this quadratic equation will solve this by using quadratic formula so from quadratic formula which is x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a so it will be x is equal to negative b is coefficient of x which is negative 8 then plus or minus square root of b square it will be negative 8 bracket square then minus 4 times a a it is 1 times c is this 24 then over 2 times a which is 1 so it will be x is equal to negative and negative 8 it will be positive 8 plus or minus square root of negative 8 square it is positive 64 negative 4 times 24 here it will be negative 4 times 24 4 times 4 it is 16 go with 1 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 it is 9 then over this and this is 2 then it will be x is equal to 8 plus or minus square root of 64 minus 96 here it will be minus 6 minus 4 it is 2 9 minus 6 is 3 then over this 2 then in the next step from here it will be x is equal to 8 plus or minus square root of negative 32 here is same as 16 then times 2 which is 32 then times negative 1 then over this 2 so it into here it will be x is equal to 8 plus or minus square root of 16 it is 4 times this square root of 2 square root of negative 1 it is i so here times i then over 2 then in the next step here it will be x is equal to 8 plus or minus 4i so 4i then times this square root of 2 then we divide by 2 in this part and in this part so it will be over 2 and here over 2 so it will be x is equal to 8 divided by 2 it is 4 plus or minus 4i divided by 2 it is 2i then times this square root of 2 so from here we have two solutions which are complex solution because it has imaginary i here then let's solve from the second solution whereas the second solution we left it from here so this is same as negative 2 over 1 then we'll cross multiply then it will be x square times 1 it is x square is equal to negative 2 times this x minus 3 so negative 2 times x is negative 2 x negative 2 times negative 3 it is positive 6 then it will be x square negative 2 x will take to this side so it will be plus 2 x then 6 will take to this side so it will be minus 6 is equal to 0 then from this quadratic equation we'll use quadratic formula which is this here so it will be x is equal to negative b so here it will be negative b it is this 2 so it will be negative 2 plus or minus square root of b square it will be this 2 square then minus 4 times a it is 1 times c is this negative 6 then over 2 times a which is 1 then in the next step it will be x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square it is 4 minus 4 times minus 6 it is positive 24 then over this time this is 2 then it will be x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 plus 24 it is 28 then over this 2 then it will be x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 28 
is same as square root of 4 times 7 then over this 2 then from here it will be this second solution so it will be x is equal to negative 2 so here negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4 it is 2 so it will be 2 then times this square root of 7 then we divide to be divided by 2 and in this part and in this part so into here it will be x is equal to negative 2 divided by 2 it is negative 1 plus or minus these two and these two will cancel so it will be plus or minus square root of 7 then from here we have two solutions which are real solution because we don't have imaginary number which is i so our conclusion the first value of x is equal to into here when it is positive to be minus 1 plus square root of 7 so minus 1 plus square root of 7 the second value of x is equal to here when it is negative to be minus 1 minus square root of 7 so minus 1 minus square root of 7 and the third value of x is equal to here when it is positive it will be 4 plus for th these are real solutions and for here we have two complex solutions so it will be when it is positive to be 4 plus 2i square root of 2 so 4 plus 2i square root of 2 and the fourth value of x is equal to 4 4 minus 2i square root of 2 so 4 minus 2i square root of 2 so we have two complex solutions and two real solutions these are all the four values of x in this our problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye